will series my image the Alati, and this is the code uh, that I was discussing in the previous session. Uh, in this session, I'll discuss uh, two important method in file handling. One is called uh, seek method, and second one is called tell method. So uh, first of all, let's open the file uh, that uh, I have already created in the previous session. That is data.txt. So I'll open data.txt in my uh, application. So let me open first data.txt and I'll open it into the read mode as let me short this file name f and first method that I want to discuss is called tell method so tell uh, method will tell you that uh, where you uh, where your cursor position in your file so when you open a file so this the, uh, the blinking as you can see this is called the cursor so at the point at uh, at at the location where the cursor will be point you can perform the reading and writing from that location okay so uh, it will tell you that what is the location of this cursor at the initial so if i print that what is the currently what is uh, the cursor position so i can write f dot tell simple and uh, let me show you so as you can see that it is at the zeroth position it means it is at the beginning position now i'm going to read some data print f dot read as i have already explained so i'm going to read the five characters and after that i am printing the value of f dot tell so uh, as you can see that we are reading the five characters means it will move from here to the five characters and after that it will be at this location so it uh, will tell you that where is your cursor right now so as you can see that it is saying that you are at fifth position so tell will tell you your current cursor position in your file and uh, another one is uh, that is seek seek means uh, you can suppose your cursor is blinking here means uh, you you are at the current position this one so uh, you can move your cursor from this uh, location to any location by using the seek method so let's uh, see that how to do that uh, f dot seek if i write and if i write zero comma zero zero uh, that you pass here it tells from the beginning okay so from the beginning uh, how much uh, character i want to uh, move so i want to move zero character so it will move your cursor at the zero it means at the beginning of the file so if i uh, ask that where is my cursor right now so it will tell you that it is at zeroth position and again if i write uh, print the uh, five character then it will tell you the same output just look at here zeroth position Pytho, so it is now at the fifth position, but I am writing here. Just look at here. I am writing that move to zeroth position, and now it will tell you that you are at the zeroth position. And again, if you perform the reading, then it will start from the current cursor position. So uh, this seek will tell you that uh, where you want to move from uh, this zero. Uh, zero the second argument will tell you from the beginning and how much uh, you want to move from here suppose from the beginning i want to move 10 characters so i can write tell uh, 10 and now if i query that where is my cursor then tell will tell you that it is at the 10th position and uh, from the 10th you can find that o r i a l is written just look at here this one so let's count this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it will start from this location to read your file so i hope uh, the tell and seek method is clear uh, in this session i'll uh, talk about few more modes here so before uh, that uh, there is a flag and in the previous tutorial i have already uh, uh, told you one flag that is called closed so uh, there is another uh, uh, flag i want to show you uh, f dot flag or you can save the property uh, f dot mode so it will tell you that in which mode you have open your file okay so as you can see that it is printing r because i have opened my file in reading mode so just remember this one i'll use this in code 
नेक्स्ट मोड इज कॉल्ड रीडिंग प्लस राइटिंग सो रीडिंग प्लस राइटिंग मीन्स आर प्लस सो रिमेम्बर दिस वन दिस लीड्स रीड फर्स्ट इट मीन्स यू हैव टू पास अ फाइल दैट इज इन एक्सिस्टेंस अदरवाइज यू विल गेट एरर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई राइट डेटा टू डॉट टी एक्स टी एन आई वॉन्ट टू रीड सम डेटा फ्रॉम यर सो यू कैन सी दैट वी विल गेट एर दैट फाइल नॉट फाउंड ओके सो मेक श्योर दैट यू आर पासिंग द फाइल दैट इज इन एक्सिस्टेंस at the same time suppose you want to perform the reading as well as the writing on the same object then you can pass r plus so by this we can read as well as we can write for example if i read the data then you can see that we are getting the output and here i want to add something i want to write something so what i can do f dot write and here i can write slash n and uh, new data from file execute this one so as you can see we are getting the data and if i show that data.txt as you can see new data from the file it means r plus mode you can use to read plus write but make sure when you are writing the cursor uh, the cursor position you have to make sure uh, suppose if i do not call this and this file contains some data and i want to write new data from the file so it will write the data at the beginning of the file just look at here if i execute there is no error it means the code is fine let's open this as you can see the new data from file and beginners as you can see so it will overwrite the data okay so it will overwrite the data from the current cursor position so as you can see now uh, the cursor position is at the beginning of the file so if you write this one so it will overwrite the characters at these locations from zero it will start so make sure that whenever you are performing uh, writing operation by using the r mode where you want to add the data for example if i write f dot c here and i say uh, move 10 position from the beginning and now write the data so here i can write like this data from 10 character position let's execute and as you can see just look at here uh data just look at here data from 10 character position okay the file so this is the way that you can use read plus mode read plus mode means reading plus writing at the same time you can read the data as well as you can write the data uh, similarly there is another mode that is called w plus w plus means uh, as uh, w is uh, preceding it means write plus read so as we know that if uh, uh, we open a file in w plus then it will truncate the data and uh, you will uh, whenever you perform the writing it will write the fresh data onto the file so if i perform f dot read so what will be the output just guess there should not be any output because when you are performing the w mode it means it will create it will uh, drop all the data as you can see data dot txt is uh, empty right now so if you perform the reading then it will not give you any output but if i write f dot write something here okay so something i can write here something on file and now if i perform the read then you can see that we are not getting any output okay but data.txt has some data why look at here when you are writing something so it will reach at the end of your cursor will be at this position this position okay so you are performing the reading after this one so it will read the data from this cursor position so it will not find any data so what you need to do you need to perform your seeking okay so where you want to seek your cursor so i want to seek my cursor from uh, here to zero position at the beginning of the file so if i execute okay if dot seek is there so as you can see something on file okay so i hope the seek method is clear to all of you that how to use the seek method when you are using r and r plus and w plus in your application so uh, 
these a few uh, modes are available that uh, i i have already told you in the previous session i will explain few more modes in the next session so uh, i hope the w plus r plus seek and tell method is clear to all of you in the next session i'll discuss about a very important module that is called shuttle that we use to perform some file operation so in the next session i'll describe this uh, those things so th thank you for watching this video please like comment and share your views share your ideas and please do subscribe my channel this helps me this encourage me to make a new videos new sessions so thank you bye bye